definitely as advertised. Expecting like one to two more inches today with uh, about 30 mile an hour winds. So uh, this footage is from a couple nights ago. I thought I would just put it together in the form of uh, a couple of quick clips for you today. The whole video is about six minutes long. Hopefully, it, hopefully you stick around for a couple minutes of it. And there's a couple good spots in it. Uh, yeah, this course isn't the most difficult. Obviously, by today's standards, a lot of people probably consider this the bunny slope anymore. So, um, but it's still fun. It it works for me. You know, it gets me doing something inside, uh, especially on days when it's 30 miles an hour sideways outside. So, um, yeah. But anyway, really having a lot of fun with the uh, the Dementor. It's still got, you know, all of the uh, the issues that, that plague every other crawler. It still gets axle hung just like everything else does. But um, it's just all about its agility and everything else. And you'll see it unload here a little bit too. But the cool thing about this is that it all it takes is just a little bit of movement. Maybe just wiggle that servo a little bit. Hops right out of it. A little bit of wheel speed picks right up, climbs right up, slow things down a little bit when you want to bite onto something, and it just hooks right up and goes. Kind of the same thing here. It's really got an awesome approach, but as soon as it gets past this, it runs into this. There's a piece of quartz rock that's on, uh, it's coming up there. You can kind of see the edge of it there. Nothing I have holds on to that quartz at all. It starts to want to go on it every single time, but it needs that that left front. Let me hear that traffic driving by. Also, too, I've kind of peeled back on the amount of uh, kitchen course, indoor course stuff that I've been posting just because I don't like you guys looking at my kitchen, to be honest with you. It's kind of a little embarrassing just because of my small-time, low-budget operation. So, again, hooks, climbs, line conquered. I really like this thing a lot. Um, I'm kind of probably running it a little bit non-standard, not using any of the top row of shock mounts. I really like how soft and flexible the chassis is with the shocks down kind of on quote-unquote where the firewall would be, I guess. Kind of where that uh, down piece is at. And I think it just allows these DASX shocks to kind of work a little bit more. And uh, once again, it can't make it up that piece of quartz, and so it's kind of trying to work its way over to what I call uh, the escape route out of that whole line. But it's like one of the only crawlers that I've ever had SCX24 based, and this is probably like maybe the eighth or ninth one that I've had in the last couple, three years now that I've owned and built. And out of all of them, this one seems to be able to do cool stuff like that, and it's incredibly predictable. Everything else has been so totally unpredictable, but this thing just seems to have some really cool special qualities like it. And this is a tough spot. It's trying desperately to find the line, but I can't remember why. I just don't think it had the traction on the back end. And the gap was just far enough on the front that it couldn't. It tried, and it was desperately trying. Especially I was trying to like wedge the wheel in between the rock and the log. Just kept unloading. I didn't want to flip it over backwards. I've talked many a times in a couple previous videos about what happens when this thing rolls off of the table. I feel like waiting for another week for another skid to arrive. But it's still trying to find the line. It slips, but I think at this point I kind of, I think I back up here. Yeah, I do. Probably should have just fast forwarded through all this. Sorry, everybody. I know it's painful. Go ahead and take off how many ever points for a backup on that line. That's my toaster oven in the background and my coffee maker. They do a lot of work. Some nice close up of those comps working. 
now I'm like steering knuckle hung, weight hung, axle weight hung. I think at this point, I think I give up here pretty quick. So this last line coming up um, is fairly fast. It's pretty direct. And it's just one of those that I think I've just been used to doing a couple times now. So it seems to have a way, I guess. But I immediately head right for the escape route instead of trying to fight my way up around the other way. And this thing's pretty cool because it just stretches right out sometimes and it'll find the line that you're looking for. So I wedged the tire, it missed. Wedged the tire again, caught it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.